Hi everyone, I'm actually at a hotel right now. Yesterday I was here to create a video tutorial for my upcoming course. The course is about location sketching, urban sketching, on how you can create a travelogue sketchbook for yourself. So one of the lessons is to draw from an elevated view to create a cityscape. So today I want to show you the scene that I'm going to draw in that tutorial. So this is the scene. This is the cityscape of Singapore. On the left side, you see that Ferris wheel. That's the Singapore flyer. And those tall buildings are actually the office blocks and private housing. And the short houses are actually called shop houses. There are actually shops on the ground floor and the second floor is for residential purposes and right here is a small mosque at the road junction this is the mosque that I'm going to draw today in this video yesterday while recording the sky was overcast and there wasn't much light and shadow but today is a beautiful day so I can get to see all the shadow details and the brilliant color of this moss so I'm going to try to draw this before I check out in about two hours time this is the sketch from yesterday so the sky was really cloudy it was going to rain there wasn't a lot of light and shadow going on here's a closer look at the details or the lack of details so let's see what I can achieve with the time that I have left this is the Pelican M200 fountain pen
the sketch is done. I drew a bit faster compared to my other sketches. I kept it loose. Now I'm applying watercolor to the sketch. Now this is a mixture of cerulean blue and French ultramarine. Perhaps I used the colors a bit too dark. It should be a lighter shade, but it doesn't really matter. So for the foliage, for the trees behind, I used sap green. And sap green, if you use it on its own, straight from the pan or from the tube, it's going to appear a bit flat. So usually for me, I would mix in some blue. In this case, I mixed in some ultramarine to get a darker shade. So it provides a nice variation rather than just having a very flat looking green. And for the roads, for the ground, for the tarmac, I use a mixture of cerulean blue and burnt sienna. I find that this combination provides a very nice grey tone. For the dome of the mosque, I use yellow ochre. And for the floor, there it's inside the mosque compound, I mixed it with a bit of red so I get that very nice almost skin tone color to the ground. Now as I was drawing the sky, it became overcast so later on when I add the shadows, I actually have to rely on the phone. I actually took a reference photo. Now I'm coloring the foliage behind, just adding the dark tones, the shadow areas. So that is a mixture of sap green, halo green, and a bit of red. You can get a very nice dark mixture. And now I'm using French ultramarine and burnt sienna to add in the shadows on the building. Right now I'm actually using a photo reference because the sky is now overcast. So I think it's quite important to take some photo reference. I mean, sometimes when you start sketching outdoors and the weather changes, and because of that, you may not be able to finish your sketch. You can actually just bring your sketch back home and just work on it further with a reference photo. That's quite helpful. So this is the completed sketch. These are the cars on the street. The shadows might be a bit too strong. Some people waiting to cross the road. These little dots here, these are actually shoes, so there are prayers going on right now. There are people inside and they have left their shoes outside. Perhaps I might want to draw in a person so as to make this place more lively. So I'm just going to draw in a person standing here like that, maybe two person. and give them a bit of shadow all right i think that's good enough i love drawing palm trees they have a very distinctive shape the shape of the leaves are also very distinctive so when people look at them immediately they can tell that it's a palm tree so all these areas are actually set green I mixed some ultramarine to give it a darker look and also give it some variation. For these really dark areas, I use sap green with thalo green with a bit of red to basically make it really dark. Because usually shadow areas under the trees, they are very dark, maybe even close to black. So this is it, this is my sketch compared to the mosque. I think mine is definitely more blue. I should have lightened the cerulean blue that I use, perhaps to this shade here instead. 
So overall, I took around 45 minutes to sketch this with pen, ink, and watercolor. And that's the end of today's video. If you have any questions, let me know in the comment section. I will let you know when the course is out on Patreon and also on Gumroad. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video. Bye.